behind her. horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty Hyo Silver, the Lone Ranger. Territory like wasteland, Kimisabi. Ride all morning, no water. What people do for their cattle? I don't know, Tunnel. From the looks of things, this drought has been here for quite a spell. Look, Kimisabi. Watch yourself, Clem. It looks like the same fellows we just left. Stay where you are. We got you this time. Now give us back what you took from us. We've got the wrong men. We haven't stolen anything from anybody. Then what are you doing with that mask on? Don't let the mask fool you. It's my protection as well as that gun is yours. We are friends. You don't look like one of them, Clem. Neither of them. But a man with a mask, Sam. How can we trust him? I don't know, Clem. I don't know. All I say is don't worry about my mask. Your partner is hurt badly. You need help. Get some bandages. I don't know who you are, stranger. I guess it don't make much difference. But if you want to give us some help, we could sure use it. We were trailing them right through the pass down there. Sixty head of cattle. Sure, we knew they were lagging, and we come up sudden to straighten them out. And we found some strangers are making off with the whole herd. That's how they come to shoot, Sam. Never give us a chance. Four of them. They even whipped our horses onto the plane so we couldn't give them any chase. Robbing innocent settlers is the rottenest thing I ever heard of. Well, we aren't exactly settlers, stranger. Not by a long shot. We're old timers around here, son. I went east a month ago to buy up a herd and get a ranch started, like the rest of them around here. Just come back today. But we got a little house over there and a parcel of land. Look, my Indian friends found your horses. What we do now, Kimisabi? Some hard riding, Tano. Glenn, you take your partner home. Tano and I will try and pick up the trail of the outlaws. must have real softening of the brain. Yes, sir, Reed. Ridden them two old men of the cattle and then letting them get away. And it's clear daylight. What did I tell you? Didn't I tell you not to operate in the daytime? We're just stealing scattered herds at night, 20, 30 at a time. They were there for the taking, Sheriff. We didn't think they was being watched. Nobody's asking you to think. I'm doing the thinking around here. That's why I called you boys in. I got a good mind to fire the whole bunch of you. Here I am taking advantage of the drought, and here you are wrecking me. Shattuck, what makes you so smart? Now, don't you go getting up in your high heels, Bill. Up to now, I've been telling these ranchmen their cattle been roaming off looking for water because of the drought, and they've been believing me. How do you figure we already got away with so many heads without them knowing they've been stolen? What are you getting so excited about? Because they know now somebody's stealing something. How long are it going to take you to drive what you just stole up to our hideout and have them branded like the rest? Oh, we'll have them up there by nightfall. They're just up the canyon. All right, just you don't go making any more rates till I tell you. I'm going down now and quiet them ranchmen. This drought's going to maybe last another two weeks, and I want it to work for us till I say we pull out of here. And what if they tell you to go jump and come up in the hills and start looking? I'll manage them down there. You just manage things here. And anybody moving this way into Stone Mountain, you just shoot first and talk after. I don't want nobody to leave here alive. Understand? Sure, them go this way. They might have, Tunnel. 
This land is so hard and dry, it's impossible to find prints. But rustlers, them not just vanish. I'm riding back to the next fort to see those two old men. You ride into town. Ask the sheriff to come out to their shack and bring a posse. We'll need help tracking down those rustlers. For you, Sheriff. Big trouble. Yes, sir. There's always trouble, son. You come now. Trouble don't mean nothing to me, boy. I can remember trouble as far back now, as... Now, Sheriff. Maybe we better take our time about the rush, Tonto. Matter of fact, I kind of got a notion why you're here to fetch me. Me not understand. Saw those two old cattlemen lost the herd. They gave you the whole story. Said something about a man wearing a mask and an engine helping them. I thought you'd ridden off, but sure enough did. Take a load off your feet. It's a hot day. You take it plenty easy, Sheriff. That mean maybe you'll find men who steal cattle? No, can't says it didn't. Been out looking for them, though. Yes, sir. Been out hunting them buzzards up till ten minutes ago. Then you come quick. Kimasabi sent me ask you to call out Posse. Him up at Old Men's Shack. Posse, huh? Now, ain't that asking a lot from the law when I don't even know the man? that name he uses? Kimo Sabi. What's that mean? Kimo Sabi. That mean trusty scout. Now, a trusty scout shouldn't be doing a thing like that. Taking things into his own hands. No siree, not asking to call out a posse. Pretty, ain't it? Right pretty for a quick sniff of the scissors. You come now, Sheriff? Call out posse? I'm coming, boy, but I think maybe we don't call any posse till we do a little investigating. We hurry, maybe, huh, Sheriff? Never got used to hurrying, Injun. Always figured on taking life easy. You live longer. Yes, sirree. That's what my pappy used to say. You live a lot longer. Now let's go up and see that friend of yours, Kimo Sabe. I'm gonna tell you again. We called you in here to tell you what happened, but well, if he wants to wear a mask on his face, that's his business. He helped Clem and me. And I say no one's safe in this territory until these outlaws are wiped out. What I want to know is the same men who stole Clem and Sam's cattle stole ours this last month? Well, maybe they have and maybe they haven't. What we first got to do is find these thieves. All right. I trust Sam. Whatever he says goes. Let the masked man stay. I just say, let's stop chewing the fat and get the sheriff and the posse going. Now, boys, let's take it easy. Let's take it easy. I'm the acting sheriff of this here county, duly appointed by Sheriff Honeywell till he returns. I'm the one who takes the action. I'm making a strong call for action, Sheriff. If you're so strong for laying your hand on the table, mister, why don't you take off that mask and tell us who you are? Man's got a right to a lot of suspicion when 60 head of cattle's been stolen. Say, maybe the sheriff's got something there. You wrong, all wrong. Him, me, on sight of law. My Indian friend is right. If we were crooks, we wouldn't be here. We'd be riding hard in the other direction. Well, that's a fair enough argument, stranger, and I ain't hankering to press the point. And if you boys want to get up a posse, I say let's get up a posse right now. I'm here to protect you, yes sirree. But we don't need him or the engine. He's just giving us something to chew on, Sheriff. What about our cattle disappearing this last month? Now, now, boys, ain't I been telling you they've been roaming off getting lost because of the drought? Don't let this here stranger get you all mixed up because of what happened today. I've been riding all morning ever since Sam and Clem here told me about losing the cattle. Then I say let's start riding all over again. I'm with you, Clem. I'm with you all the way. But I don't think riding now is a good idea, even if he does. I never misled you before, have a Ray? We all trust you, Sheriff. Well, that's what I figured. It'll be dark in a few hours, and it's going to be hard to pick up the trail. What do you say we start first thing at dawn? That is, if it's all right with you. Then that's settled. That's fine. That's fair enough. So you want to go along with this too, stranger? You and the engine? 
That's what we're counting on, Sheriff. Mm, all right. You men meet me at the office at 5 o'clock in the morning. Just be sure you got yourself some fast horses and plenty of ammunition. Sheriff, we'll go along with you now. All right, sure enough. Maybe I can put you two up in town somewhere. What do you say? Yeah, maybe you can. I'm glad to see you boys so reasonable about this. Now, we'll catch these crooks, don't you worry. Lem Shattuck may be only acting sheriff, but he don't let no grass grow under his feet. Hey, stranger. Got myself a notion. Oh? What's that? Well, seeing you fellas so anxious to help out, and these old boys back there so tired and worried, maybe we can save them some time. That's mighty considerate of you, Sheriff. That's what I'm being paid for, son. That's what I'm being paid for. See, I didn't want to get the boys riled up in there. That's why I'd been trying to discourage them to wait for morning. But I got a feeling that that 60 head of cattle's being head up in Stone Mountain. Stone Mountain? Maybe him right, Kimasani. I'm telling you, the trail ended in that direction when I was out. But I was too tired to follow it. Now I feel perked up again, raring to go. Well, let's call the men up and get started now. Oh, that's what I mean, son. They're old men. Maybe they'll get hurt. Maybe there'll be a little shooting. Besides, a large posse moving about is going to make noise, attract attention. Just let's scout ourselves and save them the trouble. That's fair enough. What do you say, Colonel? You may think that's a good idea. Fine, let's do it. We'll be back before nightfall. Sure as shooting. Drill picks up again right here. Look at the ground. Lucky there are three of us who wouldn't have found it. Yeah, I see. I think we're close, boys. We've got to take it easy. Something tells me it's going to be better if we separate here. We're up somewhere in that canyon. If we move in on them for two directions, we got them trapped. I think you're right. We don't have any luck. Meet you up in the pass in a half hour. All right. Come on, Tommy. You wanted to play cards, didn't you? Stop blaming me. Shattered. Where's the others? Where's Gus and Hank? We got to thinking they'd better move the cattle before night. They're taking them across the line to the hideout now. Why ain't one of you outside standing guard? I told him to watch. Stop blaming me. You could have watched as well as I could have. All right, all right. Shut up to both of you. I hope you can shoot at least. Shoot what? I want you to get a couple of guys I brought up here with me. They'll be along in a few minutes. You don't know who they are, huh? One's a masked man and one's an engine. Any two guys that talk up to a sheriff the way they done ain't healthy to have around. At least not around here. How are you going to explain in town about these two hombres disappearing? When they don't show up in the morning, I'll just say they rode away and nobody will miss them. And what about the posse? I can get rid of those old fools anytime. I'll just lead them around Rimrock Pass and tire them out. But these two guys with me, I want to get rid of now. Hey, where are you going? Back to town, just in case some of those old rannies gets it into their heads to do something out of line. And what do we do with the body? I don't care. Bury him. Just be sure you got two bodies to bury. Don't worry. Tom, that'll take you high up. I'll go straight ahead. We'll leave our horses about a quarter of a mile in and move into the hills on foot. Me understand, Kimasabi. You come up, me go down. Right.
That's one of them. That's the last walk he's ever gonna take. What about the engine? One thing at a time. We'll get the engine next. I'll get him next. All right, you'll get him. Watch what I do to this one. How you like that? Uh, I'm next. All right, all right. You're next. Now, where's that engine? Get up hands. Drop rifle. Why you shoot gun? He done it. That's a lie. You done it. He done it, engine. What's the matter with you, engine? What's the matter with two guys out shooting for squirrel? I mean, not so sure. Turn around. Keep hands up. Go down the road now. You're going to be awful sorry for this fellow. He never seems sorry for outlaws. Outlaws? Are we an outlaws, Injun? Where'd you get that idea? We just up here doing a little hunting, like I said. He must have me. Some squirrel shoot. You're scared for a minute when we see your boots on behind rock. Now, what we do now, Kimisabi? There must be more a gang. You're right. We've got to work fast before they return. Now, here's what I want you to do. showed up. We get off trail, Sheriff. You come now. What happened to your partner? We get in big fight. Two outlaws and try kill us. Me escape. You come quick. He must have need you. Well, now, what do you know about that? We catch those two men. You help. You fix them, Sheriff? I'll fix them. I'll fix them good. Come on. Behind trees, Sheriff. All right, don't make any noise. You go first. Better law go first, Sheriff. Me follow. Tell you, Sheriff. What do you know? Get him up. Get in there. You guys can't even do an easy job right, can you? You get them, they get you. That it? Cat and mouse, huh? Well, you ain't gonna get anybody anymore, stranger. You or the engine. Why don't you guys say something? What do you want us to say? A couple of thick-skulled rannies, that's what I hired. So you admit your own guilt, eh, Sheriff? Guilty enough to hang if they ever find out about me. I didn't get the idea of stealing cattle this way until the drought come. But before I'm through, I'm gonna be a rich man. At the expense of wrecking every cattleman in this territory? I'm not worried about them. Just about me. Now, let's get a look at you. All I wanted to hear you say, Sheriff, I'll drop your gun belt. Quick! You ain't gonna get away with this. Why don't you guys say something? With our feet tied and that gun in his hand, you ain't paying us that much money. Anyway, you're the blockhead in this setup, Sheriff. We didn't say anything to this guy. Why don't you keep your big mouth shut? We figured you'd get us off later. I ain't worried. You ain't got no witnesses to what I just said, stranger. 
It's your word against mine, and the boys down there believe me. You're quite right, Sheriff. That's why I had to get you to talk first. You can come in now, men. I guess your scheme is just about finished, Sheriff. See, Tonto notified these men a half hour before he notified you. As you said, we did need witnesses. Pretty clever, ain't you? And by nightfall, the rest of the cattlemen will have your whole gang rounded up. You'll talk plenty now, Sheriff. Yeah, I guess I will. Just want to know one thing. My boys here wrecked this thing for me? Not exactly. You see, I suspected you before we rode up here to Stone Mountain. It wasn't a thing I said. Not what you said, Sheriff. What you did. You see, a man as easy going and as lazy as you claim to be wouldn't have ridden all morning after cattle thieves without asking for help. That is, if he wasn't trying to hide something. Oh, that's what I wanted to know. Just so I won't make the same mistake next time. <laughs> Are you all right? Much better shape than the acting sheriff. I think you men can handle the rest. You'll have your cattle back tomorrow. We can't thank you enough, friend. Adios. Say, we ain't even asked the stranger his name. Hey, wait a minute. We don't even know who you are. Don't get yourself ruffled, George. The engine told me who he is on the way up here. There's only one man who could have caught the sheriff, and that's him. He's the Lone Ranger. Hello, Hill. 